Hi, it's Pam Triola, the food lady, and welcome to our show. It's an exciting one. Yes, we are smack dab in the middle of the summer, and boy, is it hot, and you want a vacation, right? But you don't have enough days that you can take off from work. Well, how about a mini vacation? If you've got a couple of hours to spare, how about lunch, dinner, cocktails, and some live entertainment at Guanabana's in Jupiter, a taste of paradise. This 100% open air waterfront restaurant and bar will make you feel like you just stepped foot into the Garden of Eden. It's one of my absolute favorite waterfront eateries in the Palm Beaches because they care as much about the food as their tantalizing view. We're gonna have a taste and a look at everything that makes Guanabana so special, so keep watching the show. Sure, Brokes has Irish classics like harp lager battered fish and chips and corned beef and cabbage, but Brokes finishes off their corned beef with a truffle aioli. From the sea, try their ahi tuna Caesar, the grilled filet of salmon, and Brokes' amazing grilled mahi with lobster sauce and lobster mashed potatoes. Chef Joseph Angelucci is classically trained and used to work as a private chef for Versace. He covers a lot of genres on the menu and can also custom create an extraordinary menu for your next party in their private dining room. This is one of the owners, Rod Regan. Now, I know a lot of my friends come here. They come here for dinner and lunches, but they love to come for appetizers and cocktails. You've got a pretty serious happy hour, right? We do. We have 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., seven days a week, and also Monday through Wednesday, 10 p.m. till 2 a.m. The live music five nights a week and Friday nights it starts at 5.15 p.m. through till 1.30 a.m. Well, we're gonna do a little dance on ourselves in just a minute. Now the appetizers are fantastic. Now these are your famous sausage rolls which are Australian, correct? Australian, yes. Okay, and we've got Thai lettuce wraps. A lot of good Thai food in Australia too, right? It surely is. Yeah. And one of my personal favorites is their baked brie. It has like this honey balsamic reduction on top of it. I've never had anything like it. Really, really delicious. Rod, I want to thank you, your beautiful wife, Emily, your beautiful daughter, Tanya, for all your hospitality. We love to come here, and we'll be back again and again. Thank you, Pam. Cheers. Yep, cheers, cheers. We'll see you soon at Brogues. Michael from Stewart says the Cooper in Palm Beach Gardens has the most amazing barbecue bison burger in the world. Let's see if he's right. Jeff Adam, how are you? Excellent, nice to see you again. Nice Welcome. Nice to see you too. Hey, listen, we've got a viewer in Stewart, Michael, and he says you have the most amazing barbecue bison burger in the world. Is that true? Absolutely, 100%. Right. I think I'm gonna have to be the judge. We can make that happen. How do you make it? Well, we start with a blend of uh, bison and uh, ground beef, and uh, we cook it on the flat top. We have a little 12-month uh, aged manchego, uh, ancho bourbon barbecue sauce, crispy onions, on a fresh whole wheat bun. Uh, it's a spicy arugula. And barbecue sauce now, this is your own? It's our signature barbecue sauce, yeah. It, it is, and can yeah. you tell me, I always try to get the chefs to tell me their secret recipes. Can you give me the secret recipe? Absolutely, no, off, the, off the record, of oh, course. Oh man, that's so not fair. <laughs> All right, let's get cooking. Let's do it. Barbecue bison burger. Oh, Enjoy. Look at this, Chef Adam. You ready? Oh my goodness. Congratulations, you took a big bite. This is so good. I'm telling you, three thumbs up. Nestled under the palms and huge banyan trees along Jupiter's leg of the Intracoastal Waterway lies an oasis from the heat. It's a magical restaurant and bar known as Guanabana's. Joining me today is Chef Vinny and General Manager John Sullivan of Guanabana's, 
a waterfront gem that's become a haven for the storms of a busy life and work week for the locals and tends to leave tourists in awe the second they walk in. All right, John, this place is incredible. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely, no problem. Hey, Welcome. now, I've been around here a long time. I hate to date myself, but uh, yeah, I've been around a long time. And I remember when this place used to be a sandwich shop, right? It was. It started out in 2004 as a kayak and kind of a surf shop style. Right. Where they rented kayaks and things off the dock. And then the guys then decided, hey, why don't we sell some sandwiches and things to the people that are going out paddling? and it just grew organically and exploded from there. Well, I mean, you guys sunk a lot into this place. This place is huge now. It is, it is. In 2006, we closed for two years. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when myself and my partners came on board and turned it into what you see now. You know, we get a lot of comments all the time. It's just like Disney, but real. <laughs> yeah, right? it is, so, it's totally. You know, so that's kind of, we hang our hat on that. You know, that, you know, the, the stone is real stone, the tiki's are real tiki's, and these are just trees, and everything just kind of grew here, you know? And you can't you forget know. about, like, the perfect intracoastal waterway shot, either. Absolutely. So this is actually, we call this the Jupiter Oxbow, so we look mm -hmm. at uh, Burt Reynolds Park, which nice. is great because we know there's never going to be a condo across the water from us. And so we've got that nice view into the mangroves, and you've got the nice waterway with the boats going by, and it's a no-wake zone, so everyone's just kind of cruising by leisurely, just adds to the whole environment. Now, I met Chef Vinny a little bit earlier, and uh, you know we're gonna talk food in a little bit, but right. the one thing that's really important for people to know is the seafood that you have here is so fresh, and you have a philosophy about that, right? Absolutely, when we opened in 2008, I got involved with the Fresh from Florida campaign, which at that time was purely agricultural. And so they were doing some on the shrimp side and kind of fresh caught seafood. And so I reached out to Tallahassee and the people that are running it up there and said, hey, look, you know, we purchase all of our seafood from the state of Florida. I don't buy a single thing outside of our state. I purchased seafood, shrimp, clams, crab, you name it, from Tarpon Springs, Fort Myers, Apalachicola, uh, Cape Canaveral. All Sanibel, the way, all, I saw it right, too, right? Right, right, Sanibel, yep. Yep. And all the way around the state. And so when I reached out to the state, they, they didn't have any restaurants that had partnered with them yet. And I said, well, why don't we work together and, and set a standard of, to be involved? This is what we have to do. And so the folks up there were really, really excited for what we were doing down here. And, you know, we jumped on board and uh, it's so been huge. When you say it's fresh, guys, they mean it's really fresh. You're going to have to taste this. Don't even think about touching that remote. If you've ever driven by the corner of Forest Hill Boulevard and Dixie Highway, you no doubt have seen the line at the pickup window morning, noon, night, even overnight. As if being open 24 hours a day with a full menu isn't accommodating enough, they also cater. You can call and pick it up or have it delivered for a party of two to hundreds. All right, I'm kind of cheating a little bit today, not with Ricky, <laughs> with cooking. You see, I'm not cooking, but I'm gonna take all of these things, I'm gonna heat them up in these beautiful pans that you put them in for me, and then when they're nice and warm, I'm gonna put them into my dishes and tell everybody I made the food. No, I won't. She could safe with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do we have got here? This is so wonderful. Okay. These are appetizers. Yes, so we have uh, Mediquita chips with mojo, mm -hmm. some assorted flavors of empanadas, homemade as well, with the chimichurri oh, sauce. Right. Uh, cumin sandwiches cut into little pieces and we also have the garlic shrimp and for our main entrees okay so we have the imperial rice which you love we also have white rice and black beans we have some ropa vieja which is the shredded beef and also another favorite with is a lechon asado that's the roast pork yeah, that's very good oh it is so tender i mean just melts in your mouth everything looks and smells perfect If you love watching The Food Lady, then you probably love dining out. Well, have I got just the thing for you. Log on to localdines.com. You'll find some of the restaurants you're watching today and hundreds more. You can look up menus, photos, and purchase dining certificates at up to 70% off. You'll help support local restaurants and save money at the same time. Log on now. Oh, wait, no, wait till after the show. How you doing? I'm Chef Anthony Monti over here at Surrey in Lake Worth. Today what we're going to make is we have mussels, clams, garlic and oil, very simple. 
steamed with white wine, finished with fried spinach and crostinis. A little bit of oil, we got some garlic in there. A little bit more garlic. Cook this down until the garlic gets nice and brown. All right, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of white wine. Cover it up. Let the wine do its job. Steam, open up the clams and the mussels. Okay, so just check on them. Maybe take another minute. We wanna make sure that they're all open. Take another minute there. So that's it, as soon as they all open up, finish it with a little bit of butter, a little bit of parsley. Mussels, clams, a little bit of flash fried spinach, a few crostinis. There you have it, that's simple. It's clams, mussels, garlic, and oil. The Food Lady continues from Guanabana's restaurant in Jupiter. If you love the true laid back island feel where everyone is welcome, you're gonna adore this place. There are banyan trees towering overhead, woven cheeky huts custom built by native Indian tribes, and even hand chiseled coquina stone pathways that lead you through this almost rainforest like space. Guanabana's pays attention to every little detail from the exotic and native foliage outdoor temperature control and misters to its pristine waterfront location and food forward menu. You know, a lot of waterfront restaurants tend to rest on their laurels. They think they don't have to do food and drink well because, well, they have an amazing intracoastal view. That's not the case here at Guanabana's, and that's thanks to Chef Vinny. Thank you, thank you very much. I love his name, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm so excited. I've been here a couple of times before, okay. and now every time I come here, I smell the smoker. You do. And I'm like, I'm always, I'm going to have the pulled pork <laughs> and I'm going to have the chicken wings, but then I always get seafood. No, and that's the, we have the best of both worlds. And so that's exactly what we have. One of the things we have for you today is going to be our wings. You smell that because we're smoking everything from anywhere from five to six hours during the day. So anybody that's coming in, depending on the direction of the wind, they just get that beautiful smell all day long. So you get, you get the salt of the ocean and the smoker going. I tell you what, Perfect it's it's a, it's a total recipe for success here. You can't <laughs> beat it, you know. We have our wings that are smoked for four to five hours. You can get them hot, you can get them sweet. We have several different sauces to go with them. Kind of just anything to kind of just appease your palate. And you also have the pulled pork. We do, yeah, one of our house favorites. It's smoked for six hours. Then we put it in the oven. We roast it for another two hours. Hours. Wow. Um, it is absolutely divine. We do something a little different. We use a Carolina barbecue sauce. It really cuts the fat of the pork really well once it's been smoked for so long. It's our little secret, something that we like to do. And of course, you've got a lot of seafood. What are some of your signature seafood dishes? Oh, goodness, we have so many. One thing that comes off of my head is going to be our southern country. It is a blackened piece of fish. We do it with an andouille, black bean andouille creole chili with a nice piece of fresh cornbread topped with a little lime sour cream. Hello, sunshine. Uh, it is very good. <laughs> but near and dear to my heart is what we brought for you today. What do you got and here? This is our shrimp and grits. Hello. Um, you know, you go to a lot of places, you have it several different ways, but this is one of my favorite dishes that we actually have. It's nice, it's light, it's um, it's a little mild. I don't tend to go too spicy because I kind of I don't want to I don't want to scare anybody away. Oh, it's um, good, but it's got that little frill. It's got taste a little to it. bit. Yeah, we gotta get put a little bit of that in there. You're gonna love this and so much more. So keep watching. We're here at a beautiful private estate in Palm Beach Gardens that recently had an extreme outdoor kitchen makeover thanks to Palm Beach Kitchen and Bath. This is the outdoor kitchen and living space I have always dreamed of. How about you? I'm here with the owner of Palm Beach Kitchen and Bath, Michael Clahane. This place is absolutely gorgeous, Michael. Thank you. And now, how do you start with a project like this? Well, typically a project like this, we start out with a clean slate. We find out what the owner would like, what style, what design they want to go with, and then we take it back to our office and we lay it out on our 2020 design program. So you can design everything before you even step foot on the property right there on the computer and see what it looks like? Absolutely. You could design a traditional style kitchen, contemporary style kitchen, or even a transitional style kitchen. 
Here in South Florida, whether you're buying a new home or renovating an older one, the trend really seems to be taking the square footage of living space into the outdoors. And in the summer, that also means the kitchen. This is Kayla from Palm Beach Kitchen and Bath. Kayla, isn't this place gorgeous? It's wonderful. I think we're gonna just have to camp out here. Yes, let's do it. This is so exciting because a lot of people don't realize you can have real wood looking cabinetry outside. You don't have to deal with the stucco or the stone or this. If you want exactly what you have inside your house, outside, you can have this. Yes. These cabinets here are actually made from a very high quality resin. They're very durable. They're made to withstand everything South Florida throws our way, whether it be the heat, the rain. They come in six different colors and styles, so there's a lot to choose from. And they can last? Last a lifetime. Really? Yes. Okay. Now what about this gorgeous stone? This is a quartzite called White Macubus. It's very durable in this last lifetime as well. We're back at Surrey West in Wellington, recently voted the best restaurant in Wellington by Palm Beach Post readers. And boy, is this place hot. We're here to sample the latest dining sensation, Asado Wednesdays. Asado is a traditional Argentinian custom that includes the grilling of fine meats in a festive environment. And that's exactly what you'll find here at Surrey West in Wellington every Wednesday starting at 7 p.m. From flank steak and baby back ribs to barbecued chicken and Argentinian chorizo, there's all you can eat for only $30 a person. But the deals don't stop there. Thursdays at Surrey West is Italian night and owner Bunny Pata takes over the kitchen to bring you a seven course Italian feast from antipasto to pasta and homemade meatballs to desserts and include house wine for only $30 per person. And of course, you'll always find the best tapas in town at Surrey West and Surrey East in downtown Lake Worth. Try the Pulpo Espana featuring grilled octopus and a white wine garlic butter or smoked tomato and chicken mac and cheese loaded with aged white cheddar, brie and bacon. And don't forget, Surrey East and West have the most amazing catering facilities. Imagine getting married here. Check out Surrey West in Wellington. And don't forget Surrey East in downtown Lake Worth for tapas. Experience the best today. Hey, it's Pam Triolo, the food lady, and we are in the kitchen, in my kitchen to be exact, and I have with us a very special friend, Greg Rice. He's a local celebrity. Uh, you are on television all over the place. Well, uh, you know, I'm somewhere all the time, Pam. I, that's what I tell people. I'm probably uh, the best uh, known bug chaser in, in all of Florida. <laughs> For the Hewlett commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and then also, too, you're a motivational speaker, right. and you have various business interests. Well, you know, uh, I don't have any retirement skills, so I've got to keep working. Here. You're a renaissance man. Well, I, I, I hope so. Well, we've been talking about this for a while now, getting together and doing some cooking in the kitchen. I have been a fan of this lady doing this same thing for 20 years or longer or whatever. Um, it's been a long, long time. He's dating me. That's right. I, we used to shoot our commercials at the same place that used to shoot another show that she was doing. So that's how we first met, I think. Mm -hmm. And then over the years, you know, we just keep back crossing paths and all. Now we live in the same town, so, you know, that, that, it's gone for a circle. I know, it really has been, but you know what? That's why you, you, you keep out there, you make good friends, you meet good people and you do good in this world and the good comes back to you. And I understand we're gonna have a good uh, meal to share with the folks at home. That's right. Watching the show. We're actually gonna be making shrimp scampi. With me on the show, it had to be shrimp. <laughs> I... That are short ribs. There you go, put a bump on. <laughs> okay, we've got about a pound and a half to two pounds of some nice sized shrimp. And then also we've got a cup of uh, Pinot Grigio, a stick of butter, we've got some lemon, We've got some minced garlic. I like to use the organic minced garlic. No, yeah. And then we've got some crushed red pepper, some sea salt, some parsley, some pasta, and some pecorino romano. But you, now you like I, I like just how you pronounce pecorino romano. Pecorino romano. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It sounds so Italian. It does. I like to use it instead of Parmesan cheese, but you can use Parmesan cheese too. It's easy peasy. It's all on the stove. It's one at a time. One pot. That's it. One pot. One mess. Throw it in the dishwasher. You're done. That's it. All right, Greg, what we're first going to do is put a little olive oil on the pan. There you go. That looks nice. All right. 
And you gotta use a little butter too. It's scampy. Yeah. Little butter. Little butter. What's the matter with a lot of butter? That's a half a stick, and if we want more after, we we'll add, add more after. later. <laughs> but we're gonna start with that, and we're gonna add our garlic. Like I said, Ooh, we're gonna make this kitchen smell really. It does it really already. good. It does already. I'm gonna add. Oh, this one's gonna add one, two. It's gonna be garlic. Yeah, well, you can never have enough garlic when you got shrimp scampi. And you're a triolo? No, you can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of in your blood. Right? It sort of is, yeah. And we're just gonna uh, cook this for a little while. We're gonna let this brown. You just wanna make sure you don't burn it because it can burn oh. really, really fast. And that'll make your whole dish bitter. So keep your eye on it. I'm gonna watch it for you. All right, you see that? My garlic is perfect. It hasn't it's burned. Beautiful. We're gonna add our white wine to the pan. Never enough white wine. To Never enough. Garlic. I know, I'm telling you. And I managed to save a little bit for us to have dinner too. <laughs> when, I, when I saw the bottle out there, I thought maybe this was for uh, uh, Hoda and Kathy Lee. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Now, how much uh, fresh pepper do you use? Um, this is about a teaspoon. Not a teaspoon. Yeah. And the good thing about it, if you want a little more when it's on your plate, yeah. you can be more. Yeah, I don't like Because some people are a little bit adverse to it. And I, I like it for just a little kick of heat. Well, I'm a big Emerald Lagasse fan. And Emerald says if there ain't no heat in it, there ain't no love in it. No, oh, I like that. I don't know why they call these shrimp. These look like little lobsters. They are, I'm telling you. You know, it's funny that you should say that because actually, scampi is actually a word for the actual creature. People think shrimp scampi like it's scampi style. Right. The actual shrimp itself is called scampi, and it wasn't shrimp, it was langoustines. Oh, okay, and, and that's they what, are a bigger shrimp. That's yeah. what they call scampi. We're gonna leave this for about three minutes, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna start flipping them over. Boy, they smell good, wow. All right, these look like perfection, what do you think? Boy, they look yummy, Pam. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the lemon juice. There you go. Okay. Is that about a half a lemon or a whole lemon? Or? I used, they were small lemons, so I used a lemon and a half. Right, well. But they were kind of small. But if you have a big one, one whole lemon. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And then the parsley, this is Italian flat leaf. I'm gonna put that on there. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna get that pasta off the stove. I think we need to get it. Pour it through the colander. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put this all together and we're gonna have some great shrimp scampi. Coming up real soon, folks. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Slurpy. Sorry about that, folks. I, my mom raised me better. I can look at you. you. Well, you, got, you got parsley all over I wear it well. <laughs> you do. But this is incredible. Thank you so much, sweetheart. What a dish. And we are having so much fun. This is something so easy, isn't it? I mean, you saw oh. how quickly it came together. Quick, easy, just a few ingredients. Right. You'll want to try this dish. Folks. And it's so fresh. You can do this at home. I know you can. All right, we'll see you next time. If you love watching The Food Lady, then you probably love dining out. Well, have I got just the thing for you. Log on to localdines.com. You'll find some of the restaurants you're watching today and hundreds more. You can look up menus, photos, and purchase dining certificates at up to 70% off. You'll help support local restaurants and save money at the same time. Log on now. Oh, wait, no, wait till after the show. You're watching The Food Lady from Guanabana's Waterfront Restaurant in Jupiter. As if the lush tropical setting, great cuisine, and cocktails like the Cat 5 Hurricane and signature coconut mojito aren't enough, they also have happy hour every day of the week from 3 to 6 and live music on the weekends. Where else can you enjoy both national acts and the hottest names in South Florida under the stars next to the Intracoastal with great food and drink and an amazing crowd. Guanabana's is perfect for happy hour, ladies night, an early family dinner, date night, or a place to bring vacationing guests. Or why not make it a destination stop after you've been cruising down the Intracoastal Waterway. They have 14 docks, so get here early and stay late. Cheers.
here at Saito's Japanese Steakhouse, Hibachi and Sushi Bar in Wellington, Buddha oversees an expansive hibachi room where joy is definitely on the faces of all of their customers. Young and old will delight in all of the amazing meat and seafood combinations from filet mignon and chicken to lobster, shrimp, scallops, and sea bass. Watch as Saito's hibachi chefs cook your favorites while putting on one heck of a show. If you're looking for sushi, stir fry, teriyaki, or all your favorite traditional Japanese noodle or rice dishes, Saito's got you covered too. Really want to celebrate? Enjoy a Saito's sushi and sashimi boat for two, three, or more. It comes with soup and salad. Try a signature roll from one of Saito's six locations. The Wellington roll features whitefish masago and asparagus wrapped around seaweed and deep fried with crispy breading and eel sauce. The City Place roll has spicy tuna, pineapple, and avocado. The PGA roll is made with crab salad, salmon, pineapple, cream cheese, masago, and scallions. And Saito's Boynton roll is filled with lots of great tempura seafood. And the Boca roll is uniquely different, featuring blue cheese, salmon, crab, and avocado. Joining me is Saito's sushi chef, Chef Fee, from their Coconut Creek location. And this is the signature Coconut Creek roll. What makes it so special? Well, it's this roll all the vegetable and coconut sauce, the pineapple inside, avocado, cucumber, and wet pepper. Looks really good, and I guess, guys, I'm being healthy when I do this, right? Coconut sauce? The coconut sauce. If you're looking for the best Japanese steakhouse, hibachi, and sushi all in one place, you now have six locations to choose from. Saito City Place, Boynton Beach, Boca Raton, Wellington, Palm Beach Gardens, and Coconut Creek. Enjoy dinner and a show today. Well, our show has come to an end, and we cannot leave without thanking all of our great sponsors, to all the great chefs and restaurants and businesses featured on today's program, and of course, to our lovely host, John Sullivan, the general manager at Guanabanas, and Chef Vinny, cooking up all that great food. Make this tropical oasis part of your summer staycation plans, and include it all year long into your social calendar to remind you of why you live in South Florida in the first place. Along with all their great food, drink, and live entertainment, Guanabanas spends a good deal of their time helping others with their Give Back Thursday events that assist local charities and people in need. To find out more about this and everything Guanabanas, log on to guanabanas.com. We'll see you next time on The Food Lady. I'm Pam Triolo. Don't you like it when they say perfect? Yeah. And they really don't mean it. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Live music at Taste of Paradise. Live music at Taste of Paradise. Okay. <laughs> at Guanabanas in Jupiter. A <laughs> that was perfect. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> That's why I call it slow business. Mm -hmm. Salon services for the food lady are provided by Robert Bullen at the Aubrey Glen Salon, Palm Beach Gardens. Yeah.